Hello friends, welcome back again. In this video, we will be seeing about Keno replay blocks. Contents which we are going to cover is purpose of replay blocks, how to create replay blocks, replay block options, and finally, how to control replay blocks with Capel. So before we get into the video, please hit the subscribe button if you would like to get more notification on future videos. Okay, let's get started. Firstly, let us have a look into the purpose of replay block. So we will be using the replay block in the simulation setup and not in the measurement setup. So in the measurement setup, we have another option called offline replaying. So that particular offline replaying is meant for the offline analysis of the measurement sequence. But replay block is something that you, you have to add it up in the simulation setup. And this replay block is meant for online execution, online mode execution. So as the name suggests, Replay block is meant for replaying the measurement sequence which you have already recorded. So there are multiple use cases for which you could use this replay blocks. But the typical use case would be, imagine that you have only very few critical nodes which you are generating through your network nodes, like here, to your ECU. But the ECU will look for all the necessary signals from its interacting nodes. If you do not provide the necessary signals to your ECU, so it will throw the DTC saying that it didn't receive the signals. So in that case, you can use this kind of replay block option to replay some of the recorded logs from the vehicle. So for example, if you're recording a log in a vehicle, you will have in, the, in that particular recorded log, you will have all the ECU signals. So when you have that kind of a log here, you can always replay it over here in such a way that by replaying the logs you're you're going to feed all the necessary signals to your ECU so in that case your ECU will not throw the DTC at all so it will get all the necessary signals which which the, which your ECU is looking for so some of the other advantages are with the replay block you can not only replay the signals but also the system variables and as well as the events which you which you have already recorded in your logs so that is the key purpose of having the replay block Let's see about how to create the Keno replay block. You have to go to the simulation tab and then select the simulation setup. So you will have a window like this displaying all the CAN networks or Ethernet network. It is configured over here. You just need to select which particular CAN network in which you wanted to add your replay block. So in my case, I'm just selecting the CAN one in which I wanted to add a CAN replay block. Now, once if you have selected this network, in the in the um, in the left hand side you have to right click on the bus so this is the uh, can bus uh, interpretation so you have to right click over here you cannot right click anywhere around here to uh, add it up so you need to right click onto the lines and then you will be displayed with all the insert options so here we are going to insert a replay block so i'm going to insert replay block for can so once if you have selected you will have a block inserted into the can bus uh, so right click and now we are going to link the uh, replay block with the log file so right click on to it sit and then uh, select the configuration so here you will have the uh, browsing path in order to load your log file so browse and then link the log file which you wanted to add it as a replay block so once if you have selected you can give any name as you wish and if you click ok then if you see here uh, now we have created a replay block uh, and uh, the log file which is linked will also be shown here. So this is how we could uh, link or insert a replay block into your network nodes. Let us look into the replay block configuration options. Right click onto your replay block, click onto the configuration and inside this replay configuration we will have three different tabs present so one is the general tab and then the second one is the channel mapping and third one is the can options in the first option of uh, general we have the uh, option to rename your replay block the second option is the the source file which you wanted to select in order to link it with your replay block and then we have the output modes and start timing conditions output modes in which the first option is standard so if you select the standard um, so when you replay, when you play your replay block, it will keep playing until the end of your log timing. And then the second option is step. So as the name suggests, uh, uh, replay block will be played in a step manner. The third option is animated with uh, some specific time interval. So if you specific, uh, specify any time interval here, for example, 100 milliseconds, this replay block will be played 
with a periodicity of 100 milliseconds so whatever uh, the uh, irrespective of the time duration which you see it inside the log it will play it at every 100 milliseconds or the time duration that you uh, specify it over here so that is the output mode options and then in the right side you will see the start timing conditions uh, these options will be enabled only in the standard so you will not be seeing all these options enabled with the other uh, step or animated with so when you select the standard then you have the option of uh, the start timing conditions so the start timing conditions is nothing but whether you wanted to immediately start this replay block or based on the event you wanted to start this replay block or after a, a specific time duration you wanted to start this replay block so it's basically a triggering uh, options and then at the bottom you have the start options whether you wanted to start this replay block um, along with your measurement start if so you have to select this option otherwise you can uh, deselect it and then uh, you can play whenever your uh, replay block uh, as as per your ma manual needs um, so that is this option and then on the right side you have the keys which you could configure in order to start and stop your replay block and also you have the options to configure keys for the uh, pause and replay um, uh, pause or resume your uh, replay block so these are the options that we could see it inside the general tab then we have the second option as channel mapping so the channel mapping you will have uh, two sections like source and target uh, as the name suggests source means what it's a source file so inside the log file whatever the can network that you have it that is what you will you have to select it over here in the left side the right side like the target is nothing but the uh, current configuration where you wanted to really uh, play it so uh, here for instance uh, i'm selecting uh, can2 in can2 so where i wanted to um, play the play or map the can channel net can channel 2 which is present inside the log file with the can2 network can2 channel of this particular current network so in that in that way uh, you could do the channel mapping here the third option is the can options where you uh, if you, whether you wanted to uh, when you when you replay your uh, replay block whether you wanted to pass the uh, trans tx messages which you have already recorded or you wanted to uh, send both the tx and the rx messages so that is the uh, uh, that is the options which you see it over here in the uh, can options so these are the options that we could see it and configure it inside the replay block now we have uh, linked our log file into the replay block we'll see about uh, how to uh, play this replay block um, in the configuration since we have selected start replay block on the uh, measurement start if you see when i start the measurement i see this replay block getting triggered so if you see all the frames are flowing and uh, i don't have any other uh, simulation part so i disabled all the network node the only uh, way we are sending the signal is through this replay block if you see uh, the replay block is uh, now fully finished so it is it got stopped and so all my transmissions got stopped if you see it over here so that is the way that we could use this replay block um, and let us see uh, if, if i configure it as if i select this as if i deselect the start replay on measurement setup and if i play it the measurement is started now but uh, still the replay block hasn't started so i can manually play it if you see i manually played it or I can uh, pause it and I can also resume it uh, all these things I could do it manually uh, now we will see about uh, linking a key so I'll say like uh, for start and stop I have the A key linked and uh, for pause or resume I have the Y key linked um, now let us I'm starting the measurement now and now I'm going to press the A key to start and uh, to stop so a key is to start and stop and then y key is to pause and resume so if you see it here uh, when i press the y key here it pauses and again i'm pressing it now it got resumes so in this way also you could configure your replay block as we have explained now we will see about how to insert a 
filter so uh, not in all the cases you would need all the uh, signals to be transmitted maybe uh, based on your need at, at times you need to transmit only the required signals if you wanted to uh, transmit the required uh, signals into the bus then of course you need a filter for it so right click onto this particular line where the replay block is linked to the to your CAN bus right click on it and then you have the option like insert filter so insert your filter here and when you insert it over here um, you will see the name as sf it means like it is a stop filter so double click on it either you could double click or else you could right click on it and then go to the configuration there are two ways to um, to uh, customize this particular filter and if you see at the bottom you have the filter type whether you wanted to configure this filter as a pause filter or a stop filter so now initially by default it is configured as stop filter so let us keep it as such and here you see that you have the options whether you wanted to select it from your message set uh, which you wanted to really stop or you uh, you have the option of uh, even mentioning the raw data uh, raw data with the start ID and end ID um, or even the node also you could completely select it so these are all options now we are going to select only the uh, the events like uh, messages from the database already so let us first select about the pass filter and then we will try to um, we will select any one of the signal so um, the identifier it is 418 now I wanted to pass only this particular uh, signal uh, from the log to the CAN bus so now I'm playing it so now if you see I don't see any uh, message uh, but in the pause filter we will we will be pausing only the one particular frame that is with the identifier of 418 now I'm playing the replay block if you see only the 418 ID is being paused into the CAN bus so only this particular signal is transmitted so that is the uh, option of the pause filter now we will configure a stop filter so double click on to your uh, uh, filter and then you I select the stop filter so when I select the stop filter it means that uh, uh, I'm going to stop only this particular signal uh, which I wanted to which I do not want to transmit into the, my canvas from the replay block so now I'm uh, playing it and uh, now I'm playing the replay block if you see I see all the um, signals have been transmitted but if you see uh, there is no 418 at all because it is uh, configured as stop filter I am stopping it from the replay block so that is the uh, option uh, that is a way that you could make use of your uh, stopper um, pass filter uh, in order to um, configure which, which are all set of signals that you wanted to transmit uh, from your uh, recorded log file and al along with your uh, other active network nodes so this is how you could make use of your replay block okay till now we have seen about how to create the replay block and how to control it through the uh, configuration options now we will see about how to control this replay block through a piece of capital code so for that i have already linked a capital code here so let us just do some coding for the replay block now i'm going to edit the code in it uh, I'm going to create a function for this replay block control. So I'm going to name this uh, function as replay block control. And I'm going to define this function. So in this function, I'm going to write a small um, piece of code to test how to control this uh, replay block. First of all, I'm going to give a short wait time like five seconds. So this is like uh, soon when I start the capital code, I'll wait for five seconds. I'll not, I'll not do anything. And then I will start to play the replay block. For that, uh, replay start is the function that you have to call. And the argument that you wanted to pass is the replay block name. So the replay block name is nothing but the right click and go to configuration you see uh, replay is the name that I have given for this replay block so I'm going to give that as an argument here and once if I started then I wait for some duration and then I'm going to suspend it so for that replay suspend 
is a function in order to suspend your suspend or pause your replay block for that also the argument is the replay block name and then again i'm going to wait for two seconds after i suspend it or pause it and then again i'm going to resume my replay block for that replay resume is the option to resume it and again the argument is nothing but the replay block name you have to mention once if i have resumed it i'm going to wait for two seconds and then i'm going to come out of this function and uh, after this function i have a stop so which will stop my measurement itself so let me save it let me see if i get any compilation error no i don't see any compilation error now i have the code already linked and i selected the immediate start immediately it means that so when i start the measurement this uh, uh, capital code will start to execute okay uh, i have added two signals just for our uh, reference to see how it is getting logged okay now i'm going to uh, play the uh, measurement okay i started my measurement i'm going to the graphic i don't see anything here for the moment after 5 seconds the replay block from the um, from the code is started so you see here uh, the code execution is completely done my measurement is stopped let me explain you what has happened uh, firstly uh, what we had done is we have added a code uh, we have added a delay of 5 seconds if you see uh, first is 5 seconds of delay uh, you see uh, until 5 seconds there is no, no operation after after the uh, after 5 seconds the replay block has been started and so my signal started to flow in and then after 2 seconds like from 5 to 7 I again suspended in my uh, code so replay suspend so by which my replay block has been suspended and then after 2 seconds I, I resumed it and then soon when I resumed it I waited for 2 seconds so 9 to 11 it it played again it resumed again and then i come out of the loop of the uh, replay block control function and then my measurement got stopped so if you see this is how you could use the uh, capital code in order to control this replay block so wherever you find it um, if you find the necessity or need in order to replay uh, or tr trigger the um, lock uh, which you have recorded uh, so you could make use of this uh, replay uh, block capital functions uh, in order to replay it and then you could uh, perform your test executions so this is about the replay block control through capital code with that we had come to the conclusion of this video hope you got an insight about how to create and control the replay block manually as well through capital code if you like this video hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future videos Hit the bell icon to get instant notifications on my new videos. Thank you and see you again in another different video. Bye-bye.